And on the other side of town, young Republicans gather at the University of Miami to host their own watch party for the debate. Here's Kaplan's David Lascano with more on their reactions. Tonight, the presidential debate promises to be one of the most important exchanges for both political parties. A lot of people will be watching it from home, but a group of students from South Florida are gathered tonight at the University of Miami to demonstrate their interest in this year's elections. There were problems, there were questions I think went unanswered. Time consuming, repetitive, absolute total catastrophe. The same question, how did you feel about the presidential debate? These students gather at the watch party to show that the opinion of the youth matters. I think a lot of people have this impression that young people, college-age people in America are not aware of the political situation, that they don't care, that they're not paying attention. It's a big problem. But I do want the, you know, politicians on both sides to be aware of the fact that we are listening, we are watching, and we are talking about your policies, your statements, and your promises. Anti-Semitism in the United States and a plan to deal with the international conflicts in Gaza were the topics that the students were more concerned about in the event. Um, I would have liked a little bit more discourse on the Israel-Palestine uh, topic. As a Jew living in America, I've been very much impacted. Internationally, they didn't handle Ukraine properly. They haven't handled Israel properly. They didn't handle Afghanistan properly. Students' expectations for this debate were not met, but this did not disencourage them, and now they look forward to the future. And we are the young generation, we're the incoming generation, and we will remember. There's been an intense couple of rounds in this debate, and although some questions were left unanswered, we did see the compromise of these young students who are the new generation in charge of our future. Reporting for Kaplan News, this is David Lascano.